obviously the one kilogram block is going to go down. So the first thing you do is identify the direction of acceleration. This way is positive. So that means for this side, for the 0.1 kilogram side up is going to be positive. And for the one kilogram side down is going to be positive. Mm -hmm. So the direction of acceleration is positive, mm -hmm. depending on the object. What do you do whenever you're solving a force problem? Free body diagram. Free body diagram. Now we're going to have one free body <laughs> diagram for each object. Okay. So there's the 0.1 kilogram box. What forces does it have on it? Gravity. 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 Mg. And? Tension. Tension is the force pulling us upwards. There's no surface for normal force. And so that's the only thing touching it. It's got to be tension. Alright, so now what about the one kilogram bar? Going down, you've got gravity. gravity. And also going, and also going down. Going up, you have no, friction. No friction. No friction. No surfaces for friction to be active. What's up? Nope. Oh, we're going to assume we're in vacuum. What surface is causing the normal force? Only things touching the block. It's got to be tension. It is tension. Only things touching the block can exert a force in that block. So the string is the only thing attached to it. It's got to be tension. These two have the same free body diagram. So now I solve uh, for the object in question. Uh, the problem states what is the acceleration of one kilogram block, so let's solve the free body diagram for the one kilogram block. So I'll identify that one as the G sign. Sum of the forces equals to MA. So for the green block, what forces do I have? Tension. Tension and MG. Now which one of those is going to be positive? Mass times gravity. Mass times gravity, because we've indicated down is positive. So mg and then minus t is equal to ma. Plug in your values. One kilogram times gravity, 10 meters per second squared, minus tension, we don't know, equals to the mass, one kilogram times a. So we have one equation, but we have two unknown values. So, we're stuck. We can't go anywhere mathematically. So we turn to the other block. Uh, we'll turn to this one out of the blue block. So I solved the free body diagram for the blue block. So the forces is MA. Now which one uh, force is going to be positive here? Tension. Tension. So now we have tension minus MG equals to a. Plug in our values, tension minus 0 0.1 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared equals 0 0.1 kilogram times the acceleration. I have two unknowns there as well. tension by itself down here, and then plug it back into the top equation. So tension is equal to, that's just 1, so 0 0.1 kilograms times A plus 1, that's just 1. Do you want, do you want me to show that math? So this is T minus, and then 0.1 times 10 is 1. What are the units on this? Kilograms times meter per second squared. It's a kilogram times a meter per second squared. It's a newton. It's a newton. One newton equals 0 0.1 kilograms times A. So tension equals 0 0.1 kilograms times A plus one newton. I just move that one over to the other side. I take this T and substitute. 
Now this is where people are going to screw it up. So bear with me for the substitution. I've got this. What's 1 times 10? 10. 10. So that's 10 newtons minus t. Now t represents this whole quantity here. So it's minus the quantity. distribute that negative to everything, so everything turns out negative. Minus 0.1a minus 1 newton equals 1 kilogram times a. Now what? Get a, all the a's on one side. So you get 10 newtons minus 1 newton is 9 newtons.